Hi, everybody. I'm Lou. I am a 20 year old trying to find balance in beauty in the everyday. So if you like books, beauty and style, just keep on watching. So today what we're going to do is my everyday makeup routine. Um, just for funsies, I haven't filmed one of these before, but I actually have been requested to do one of these by several people in my life. So what we're going to do is work with some of my favorite everyday products. Um, I have pared down a lot of what I do now that I've gotten a little more mature, let's say. And um, I kind of work hybrid. So a lot of the time I work from home and I don't want to switch off from doing no makeup to doing a ton of makeup. So this is really going to be a great tutorial for those of you who just want something simple for every day, um, whether it's working from home, running to the grocery store, or whatever, really. So um, this is going to be really simple. Um, and if you want, just grab something to hydrate yourself, grab a snack or grab your own makeup and let's just do it together. Um, also, I'm not a pro. So if you have any tips for me or things that you're loving in your makeup routine, um, please do leave a comment below. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to start by moisturizing the skin. This is really basic. Um, feel free to use your fave moisturizer, but this is just what I'm using right now. Um, I really love the moisturizers from First Aid Beauty, and I also really love the Drunk Elephant moisturizers. This, I'm not going to say this is a dupe, but this feels very similar to the drunk, drunk elephant. Okay, so now we've got our moisturizer on and there are a couple variations of my everyday makeup routine. And one of the things that I like to use is this Merit Great Skin Serum. Um, you can put this on before or after your moisturizer. Um, so you can really do whatever, but this stuff really makes your skin look beautiful. So I've just been liking it. Okay. So the skin is super hydrated. I'm sorry that my lighting isn't better. Um, <laughs> I wanted to get this video done earlier and that just didn't happen, but Hey, life. Um, next I'm going to use the milk hydro grip face primer. Um, this has been a lifesaver for me, um, especially since I started using tretinoin. This just helps everything stick to the skin so much better. You can see and feel that it's really tacky. So good stuff. Um, next, I like a little glow. That's my kind of thing for every day. I know we're all feeling like the clean girl aesthetic. So um, I use the Say um, Star Glow. This is a glowy super gel. And it's just like a really, I don't know, it's very like pearlescent. And it gives your skin such a really nice glow without being shimmery or having like a really obvious highlight, but it does give your skin like just a really nice reflective light to it. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with our foundation. Mine is absolutely wrecked because I was recently in a show and I was just going back and forth from home to the theater and back and forth. And so ignore the state of my foundation, but I'm going in with the NARS um, Light Reflecting Advanced Skin Care Foundation. This foundation is really like a medium to full coverage, I would say. Um, if you share it out with a beauty blender, you're going to get a medium coverage 
my lighting is not it, but that's okay. We're just two pals doing our makeup. We don't, we don't need great lighting. Um, I have a really lovely widow's peak, which means that I'm not a vampire. I just play one on TV. This <laughs> light, the way this is reflecting on my skin, I can't. Let's do our makeup in the dark. <laughs> in the dark. So that is the foundation applied and I just love it. I think it's really natural and it just gives us a really nice even base and I just, yeah, I just love NARS. I'm like a NARS girly. I find that if you, if you find something that you like as far as like your base products, you want to stick with them. I'm going to use the Say Do Blush in the color Chili. I've seen a lot of people use this blush online, but not use this color. Um, I feel like people are afraid of this color or something because it is so ow, powerful. Um, but I think this hue is really nice. It's kind of deep. Um, but I think it's really nice if you apply it the right way. I also have the color Peachy, and this is really great if you're really fair, like myself. I know that there's not a lot of blushes. Like, if you're afraid of, like, the clown look, this is great. I love this formula. Um, I also love the applicator. There's a really nice doe foot applicator. Um, something to note with this, it really helps to apply this to the back of your hand first and then apply it with your beauty sponge or your brush. So I just take the little butt end of my beauty sponge and I just kind of dab, dab, dab. And I'm going to place it kind of up because I want to give my face like a lifted kind of look when I'm doing this kind of makeup. So you'll see what I mean, but I don't generally want it to go like any further than the middle of my eye. Um, that's just me for my face. Next, I'm going to apply my contour. And so for this, um, I'm using the Anastasia um, contour stick in the color Fawn. And we can see where my cheekbone is. I'm not going to apply this directly to my cheekbone. I'm going to sort of apply it right above that because I don't want my appearance to be like dragged down. And I'm kind of going to let it like cup my cheekbones. And then I'm also going to apply it to my forehead because I have a really prominent widow's peak. And I don't want that to stick out that much and make me look like a vampire. Although, it's the season. This is really bad lighting. Normally on my like everyday makeup days, I don't fill in my brows. I used to have a lot better brows when I was younger. I had really hairy 
caterpillar brows. Um, I'm half French and like a European mutt. So I have, I have dark, thick hair. <laughs> That's no joke. But since I've gotten older, I've noticed that my eyebrows are kind of getting thinner. Um, but on an everyday makeup day, I typically won't fill in my brow because eh, it takes some time and I just want to have things kind of like where I want them and I don't necessarily want to worry about like getting glam um, but I really love this refi brow gel shout out to my friend Rachel for recommending it to me. I had the hardest time getting something that would stick my brows where I wanted them and keep them there. So I love this. I love this product. So it goes on white. <laughs> so I look crazy. Um, but then it has this other end and you can just comb through or brush through to make sure your brows are where you want them. And it also helps with like kind of fanning them out so the hairs don't all stick together. So I really appreciate that. So this you could leave as is like, this is just kind of a walking around look. Um, but even though it's an everyday makeup look, we know I love the drama. So we are going to amp this up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to just go in with like a really light transition shade. Um, you can use whatever palette you like to do this. Um, but I'm using like a fluffy brush and I'm just going to do like a really light transition shade just so that I have something on my eye, some color. Um, some days I don't do this, but if it's just like a quick whoop, whoop, I will do that. Okay. That's just kind of a basic um, color all over. And then I'm also going to go in with like a slightly, slightly deeper shade. And then I start at the end of my eye and I just kind of bring it into the crease. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lash Primer. It's white. Um, and that is like my little secret weapon. I just work that through the lashes. And notice how I didn't use concealer. Some days I do. Some days I don't. But if I'm doing like a really basic everyday clean girl makeup. Um, I don't tend to use concealer because I find that um, I get creasing. And so I just, I just don't do it. Um, this is my new little obsession. I'm just going to go in with the Ilia mascara. Um, this is the volumizing mascara. And I got this as a perk at Sephora and it's been like my little obsession. So I like to apply mascara to my bottom lashes because I live for the drama. And sometimes you can get some, um, sometimes you can get some transfer on the bottom. So I'll show you how I deal with that in a second. Um, I asked the powers that be, aka the experts at Sephora, I asked them about it because I 
get that problem a lot. And do you know what they said? Don't apply mascara to your bottom lashes then. And I said no. So unless I stop, I'm going to continue to have that problem. And I acknowledge that and that's fine. So this is how I deal with it. So I'm going to go in with my hourglass um, translucent translucent powder and um I'm gonna just use like a flat brush and I'm just going to apply that again I haven't put any concealer on the bottom because I find that that makes it worse so I'm just gonna put a little powder and then I kind of push up so I just kind of apply that under the lash line and then I just push up against the lashes so that they're just kind of coated in like a little protective layer. Now, we're pretty much done. My favorite lip liner is not among us. So what are we going to do? You can use whatever one you want. I am using Maybelline because my favorite lip liners in my purse right now. And I overdraw. I overdraw my lips a little bit. This looks really weird in this lighting. I promise it doesn't look that bad in person. And then I'm going to go in with Mac Whirl. All right, and I'm just gonna like diffuse this color with my fingertip. This just makes the lips look really like juicy and natural. And Okay, that's the finished makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if you learned anything necessarily. This was really basic, but I hope it was fun for you to just like follow along, play along with me using some of my favorite products and the way that I get my everyday makeup look. Um, if you feel like, let's say like the cheeks are too intense for you at the end of your makeup look, you can always do this little trick, which is to take whatever remains on your beauty blender or your beauty sponge, and then just kind of like tap over it using the excess products that you have. And that'll just kind of tone down your blush. I know we've all heard of underpainting probably by now, but um, you can also underpaint with your blush if you feel like it's like a little intense. Okay, and that is the basic everyday clean girl makeup that I like to do um, just for everyday work from home. And please leave a comment below. Let me know some of your favorite makeup items. Let me know things that you like to get this similar kind of makeup aesthetic. Um, and I can't wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.